Good afternoon, I'm Zach Wiley. And I'm Tony Tudisco, and you're watching Hashtag Newscast. Topping the news, school Wi-Fi, friend or foe? Schools all over the country have Wi-Fi accessible to their students, but what can you actually do with all the restrictions? Many everyday websites are blocked due to insecure content or ads that tend to pop up on the websites. Many of the students here at Oswego East complain and ask why some educational sites are blocked. Here at East, the school promotes the use of posting hashtag Pride to social media networks like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. But how can students go on these websites when they're blocked here at school? Most students have a smartphone or some kind of internet capable phone, but most kids get no service or reception inside the school. Now, some websites are blocked for good reasons, whether that is because of harmful, it's harmful to the computer or due to websites that contain inappropriate nature or content. We interviewed a student here at Oswego East. How do you feel about the school's Wi-Fi? I think the school Wi-Fi kind of messes up things. You can't get on everything that you want. Have there been any websites that you would like access to personally? Yeah, probably YouTube. So when the teachers tell you to go on something to look up, you can use YouTube. How do you feel about not being able to access social networks like Twitter and Instagram when they tell us to use hashtag OE Wolf Pride? Um, I don't think that's good because like, if they're telling us to do it, we should be able to have access to that. Um, what do you think this policy should be about the school's website? I think it should be free for anything as long as it's like appropriate sites. I had an interview with teacher Miss Matson, who is one of the main teachers introducing new technology into our school. I've got several wireless networks that are available to both staff, students, and visitors. Um, each one of those wireless networks has different policies on it. So, for example, guest wireless, anybody can get on, there's no password needed, um, but it's pretty restricted in terms of what people can access using that guest wireless. Um, the next level is for staff, and the staff wireless is password protected. People need to have a staff user ID and password to be able to access it, and it is still got some restrictions to it, but not as many as for students. And then the third level of the wireless is for students. And again, you guys access that through the um, user ID and password that you use to get on the computer. And that wireless network will filter you in the same way that a school computer will filter you. So, so, you were getting at. so why are certain websites blocked like Twitter and Instagram when you tell us to use OE Wolf Pride? Sure. Um, the, the policies that are put out in terms of what is blocked on both and on the wireless are not set at the building level. That is set at the district level. So one thing I think that it's important for you guys to keep in mind is that our district is pre-K all the way up to 12th grade. So some of the things that we think at a building level might be okay for our high school students to access, we don't necessarily want our kindergartners to be accessing. And because it is a pre-K 12 district, a lot of those policies that go in place go in place with all those ranges of ages in mind. Um, so while it may feel a little bit, I guess, bogged down or restricted here at the high school level. I think we also have to keep in mind that we've got younger students accessing the internet through our school computers as well. Um, I think you kind of have two separate questions going in terms of social media and how we want to see it used in schools. The majority of the things that come out with the hashtag OEWolfPride are coming out outside of school hours. Um, in all honesty, there's not a whole lot that's being posted during school time. Most of the pictures and tweets that have used that hashtag have come out either in the evenings when people are at uh, games and competitions or over the weekends when they're traveling with band and choir and, and their different sporting events. So it actually becomes a really cool way for us to keep connected as a school outside of the school day once we all go our separate ways. Um, and again, I think that a lot of those posts that are happening outside of the school day aren't being done using the school's wireless. They're being done using home Wi-Fi or data plans, things like that. Many people are tweeting using their home Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi here will not let them. And maybe more people would be posting during school if we were able to, since not everyone can get service inside this school. Well, that's it for today. I'm Zach Wiley. And I'm Tony Tudisco. And, and this, this is, is Hashtag, hashtag newscast. newscast.